What do we think about when we think of seagulls? For most of us, it conjures up memories of the seaside. And here in the UK, it might make us think of Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club in Sussex on the south coast of England. That's Brighton and Hove, actually. If you're local to the area, then you'll understand. The club was founded in 1901 and have overcome some very tough times throughout their history. They spent many years being nomadic without a home ground to play in, seeing their funds depleted and being mocked and laughed at as they were falling. However, they've received backing and funds and with a permanent ground to call home, have risen like a phoenix from the bottom to the top with strength, courage and resilience, proving the mockers wrong. No wonder they're nicknamed seagulls, as they have much in common with this amazing seabird. Seagulls are highly intelligent, curious, adaptable, very resourceful and highly communicative. They have various calls, each with a different meaning and purpose. They're omnivores, just like us humans, with preference for small fish and crustaceans, which is why they prefer to be in water. They can unhinge their jaws to allow them to eat large prey, but tend not to venture too far out to sea, although they do migrate to warmer climates in winter. However, this depends on the species, as there are over 50 different types, which can be found all over the world, from as south as Antarctica to the northern parts of Canada. They typically select nesting sites which keep them safe from predators and obscures them from sight, allowing them to conceal their nests. Seagulls are very loyal and repeatedly return to the same nesting sites and territories for their yearly breeding with their mate, who they choose for life. The clutch of eggs varies, but it's usually two or three, with both the male and female taking in turns to feed and guard the chicks once they've hatched. Seagulls do have predators to watch out for, such as birds of prey that are larger than them, foxes when they're on the ground, and threats in the water from sharks and other large sea creatures. Seagulls are very observant when it comes to human activity. They're not shy to follow fishing boats or tractors and ploughs on land, since they've excellent foraging skills and are not too proud to beg and ask for what they need. They have been known to swoop for human food, taking some by surprise, but it's noticeable that the happier, calmer and in tune with nature that humans become, the calmer, more peaceful and less aggressive the seagulls become, as they're very in tune with higher frequencies. This little orphan was found in Blackpool and his name is Stephen the Seagull, that's Stephen the Seagull. And as he's now found a permanent home, he won't be putting anyone's food under siege anytime soon. Another famous seagull is, of course, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, from the wonderful book by Richard Bach. It's a beautiful tale of a seagull's bravery, wanting to be different and rise high, always wanting to be the best he can be. Despite being mocked and ridiculed, he succeeds and soars higher and higher.